Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is fine. Okay, so we met again, right? So what was in my last class? I thought, I forgot. Okay, I think it was structure of tooth, maybe, right? So you know what is our today's topic? Before I tell you my today's topic, I want to, I want you to meet somebody. You know who? My friend. You want to meet him? His name is Bryce. Hello, Mr. Bryce. Can you see him? Isn't he cute? He is, right? But uh, can you see the smile? It's cute. But where are the teeth? Where are the teeth? I think all the teeth gone away. Who took it? All the teeth gone away. Why, Mr. Bryce? You were not taking good care of teeth. He was not taking good care of teeth. You know, that is why his teeth, all the teeth, one by one, it fell down. The permanent teeth fell down. So what he is going to do? It's so sad, you know. And this is the last tooth he had. Can you see the cavity? He had got a big, huge cavity. And that's why doctor, you know, removed the tooth. That was the last tooth of Bryce. So that's why he's so sad, you know, he's very, very sad. So I am going to tell you about tooth cavity today. So this is our today's topic. And you know, how to maintain a good oral hygiene. That also I am going to tell you. So first I am going to tell about the tooth cavity. What is that exactly? Generally looks like this, right? Means, generally happens where? Generally either in the premolar or molar. Generally happens. So what happens here? As these are the crushing and grinding teeth, what it does is, there will be a cavity formed here. Cavity. And this is your tooth. Right, this is your tooth. So this is a tooth cavity. How it happens actually? I'll let you know. You know, there's a story behind it. There are a lot of bacteria inside our mouth. Whichever thing you eat, they also feed on that. How? I will let you know. See, there are a lot of bacteria inside our mouth. And I also told you in the digestion class that there is saliva present in the mouth. Right? You know what? This bacteria mixes with the saliva. And you know what it forms? It forms a sticky thin film on the teeth called as plaque. A sticky thin film called plaque. Now, what this plaque does you know, bacteria is present in plaque. They feed on the leftover food that is stuck in between the teeth. Okay, so that means the bacteria present in plaque, bacteria present in the plaque, feed on the leftover food. And you know what it forms? It forms acids. You know what it, what this acid does? It actually attacks the enamel. I told you about enamel, you know the hardest substance of human body? Uh, like uh, if this is a tooth. As you can see, what is this? This is the enamel protecting it. So this acid attacks this enamel. Then what will happen? Obviously, acid will break the enamel down. So what will happen? The enamel breaks down. When acid attacks, attacks the enamel, you can try here, attacks. What happens? Enamel breaks down. Enamel breaks down. So when enamel breaks down, then what happens? 
you know this case gets severe means after the dentine what is there means after the enamel what is there this is the dentine right now when there is decay the black cause decay in the dentine also this cavity increases this cavity increases now here is the pulp right here is the pulp it touches the pulp and when the cavity reaches the pulp what will happen the tooth starts to ache badly because pulp contains the nerves and blood vessels right so when it reaches the cavity reaches the pulp the tooth starts aching very badly okay so that is the reason that is the reason you need to maintain the oral hygiene okay so this was all about how a tooth cavity is formed so after enamel breaks down it again this continues actually until it reaches the pulp and it can go to the roots got it and it can go to the gums right so it's very very severe case you need to maintain proper hygiene for this so what are the proper hygiene i will let you know how there are various steps what to follow for the tooth to become strong fit healthy so there are different type of rules regulations okay how to maintain oral hygiene maintain oral hygiene or and taking care of teeth simply taking care of teeth right so first and foremost thing what is that i think it's brush right brush your teeth regularly in the morning and at the night after the meal so brush your teeth brush your teeth twice a day right twice a day number 2 how you are going to brush means that is a proper manner of brushing it's not a like, not like that see up down up down in a circular motion okay so you should brush like that so brush in circular motion you know you have to brush like the inside part okay of the lower teeth and upper teeth okay like that you have to brush then you also need to floss floss your teeth do you know what is the meaning of floss i'll show you so floss is a thread like substance thread like thing that is available in the medicine shop you can buy it and then what you have to do is it's a thread like structure you will hold like this and then in between the teeth you will remove the food stuck inside two teeth means in between two teeth so you need to floss it out okay every day you should do it every day okay now avoid eating too much chocolates avoid eating too much chocolates and also the soft drinks okay because that gets stuck in the teeth okay it's very sticky now rinse your mouth after each meal rinse your mouth after each meal okay why because this way your uh, like the stuck particles food particles will be removed out washed out got it after that you should always eat the healthy food which are good for your teeth and gums what are those like fresh fruit green vegetables which are rich in vitamins and minerals we should eat eat healthy food rich in vitamins and minerals and you should always drink milk every day it is a very good source of calcium okay 
Now the last thing what you will do is every six months you should go for a routine dental checkup to a dentist. So every six months, once in every six months, once in every six months, visit a dentist for a regular routine checkup. Okay. So these are the uh, various oral hygiene maintaining steps. Also you can say like various steps to take a good care of your teeth. Okay. Because if you don't take good care of your teeth, what will happen? There will be bad breath coming out and also you know sometimes uh, it can be more severe like bleeding of gums and all there will be a lot of tooth cavities so please take good care of health and i mean good care of your teeth right and you know i hope you understood thank you so much